Carrie, um, this story <laughs> tragic on many levels, and I spoke with the, the mom and the grandparents in this case a short time ago, and they a lot of frustration just in the manner in which the children were taken and then fostered, which is fine, right? Foster care is, is where we take care of the kids. They're, if the state feels they need to step in, there's some sort of potential dangerous situation. But then you got to work towards that reunification. And as they're working towards all that, the kids are given to these young parents who already have four kids. I mean, it, it was absurd. It made no sense to me. Um, this is going to be a murder trial, obviously, but it just seems like there is more than just whoever murdered these children, if they are in fact dead because no bodies have been recovered, but there's more like unclean hands touching all of this. I hope this spotlights what happened to these biological parents is happening in every state in this country. I have personally represented these parents who get these children stripped from them. They get these parenting plans and you work through these parenting plans. It takes months and months to get court dates. And then by that time, the department is saying, well, they've really, they've been with this family for six months. They have bonded. We're just going to let them adopt. And it is happening everywhere. There are some amazing podcasts, Do No Harm, that really spotlight this. This is happening, this exact same situation. And so if any good can come from this horrific story, I hope that this situation is happening and reunification should always be the goal. If these parents are working a parenting plan so that kids can stay with the parents, the you know the trial these charges is a whole other issue um it's going to be really interesting to see where this goes um you know prosecutors hate these no body cases um but i think that these prosecutors and detectives really took from what the bad and the casey anthony's those prosecutors continue to try this in the media these prosecutors and investigators are doing the exact opposite we have no idea what evidence they have and i think that is really going to help them when this trial starts you know, Darnell, the other thing that struck me was they, they adopt the kids and then they change their names. Like, one of the kids was old enough to recognize his name already. They, they had names given to them already. And you take these children, you change their names? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's uh, a sort of uh, area that makes us start to wonder um, what were they thinking, what type of control, what type of games they were playing. Um, whether they will stay with themselves. But um, there's a lot of talk tonight about what hats you're wearing, defense hat, prosecution hat, et cetera. And when I look at this type of case, I say to myself, although I do believe the young, the biological mom was taking parenting classes, I do some family law as well, and those parenting classes are, are, are put together to help parents get back on track. Um, I do a lot of these termination parental rights cases. Same thing, when, they, when there's no other choice, then they terminate the rights. But I think that DCF in, in Connecticut, who handles this type of stuff, sometimes they rush to judgment, and uh, and then it doesn't come out um, the way it should. And um and just you know, lastly on the on the prosecution defense hat, um, if they searched, they did all these searches, they did all these investigations, and nothing came up. Um, you know, I'm a little uh, upset sometimes when I hear that people get charged with murder, the most serious charge you could probably get charged with, when nothing changed from the first search warrant to the last search warrant. They just say, okay, uh, we did all this. Let's just charge these people, see what happens. Um, because even if they found innocent or found not guilty, you, I, I'm just a little bit confused sometimes in our system of justice when there's nothing that changed, nothing was found, no body, no trace evidence, no nothing. And maybe um, a man, a prosecutor on the panel could tell us, you know, what I'm missing. But when, why do you just press a button and say, okay, charge him? Well, in this case, the indictment is extremely specific about the time of death. And they give a very specific window. Um, the children were reported missing in December, but they say for sure the children were murdered in September, months before they were reported missing. So we'll see how that works out.